Um, the approximate uh, time when the Lord Jesus was born, uh, we, we know that he was born six months after John the Baptist. Now, uh, if people want to celebrate uh, Christmas on, on the 25th of December, then, 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 then that's fine. Uh, personally, I don't, and uh, there are other people that don't. And, uh, you know, I wanted to, because it's the season of Christmas, I want to ask you, are you familiar with the, the story of the birth of Jesus in the Quran? At least it's a bit warm as well. <laughs> well, that'll give you warm. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Do you want me to hold your books? No, no, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what, will you post this or will someone else put it on? Oh, yeah, my, my, on yeah, the okay. channel. Yeah, okay. So, okay. we'll stop. Um, hi, everyone. Um, this is my friend Colin. And uh, we've known each other for about a month now, I think. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe six weeks. Maybe six weeks. Maybe about six weeks. six weeks, yeah. And Colin is a Christian. And um, Colin wants to share with us today the Christmas story. Uh, what he believes in about the Christmas. Yeah. Uh, speaking to him? Oh, uh, yeah. Just, uh... Yeah. It, it, it's just to say that the, um, in the Bible, um, it, it doesn't tell us uh, re regarding uh, Jesus' birth uh, or particularly to celebrate it. Uh, what the Bible does say is, uh, and what the Lord Jesus told us to do, was to, to celebrate his death and his resurrection. At, at the Christian communion, that is, he said, this do in remembrance of me. So th that is uh, two things we are um, uh, told to do uh, in, in the Bible. Now, um, you, you can work out for, from the Bible um, the approximate uh, time when the Lord Jesus was born. Uh, we, we know that he was born six months after John the Baptist, who, who, who was his cousin. And we, we know biblically that John the Baptist uh, was born uh, uh, approximately uh, the time of spring, uh, pa pa Passover time. And to uh, go six months forward from that it takes us to around about September time and that would, that would be the time uh, when the little Jesus was born because um, it, it, it tells us that, that, that he, he was conceived um, uh, about the same time as uh, John the Baptist was born mm -hmm. so uh, to, to move on from uh, Passover time to September which is the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles um, eight, eight days from that, it's a special day in Judaism, which is uh, called Rejoicing in Torah, Sim Simkat Torah, time of rejoicing. Mm -hmm. So, Numbers 29 in, in the Old Testament tells us that this was a, this was a spe special celebration. So, um, it, it, it's quite possible that uh, Jesus was born, if he was born at the first of, uh, first day of Tabernacles, then he would have been circumcised eight days later, which is the Jewish law. Um, the, 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 on, on the eighth day, um, a, a baby uh, has circumcision. So th that's in that, that's in, in Numbers 29. So th that I think is an accurate uh, uh, way of looking at the time historically w w when Jesus was born. Now, uh, if people want to celebrate uh, Christmas on, on the 25th of December, then then then, then that's fine. Uh, personally, I don't, and uh, there are other people that don't. But um, um, we know um, that the Christians that Jesus lived and we know that he died and, and they're two very important things. In order to live, Jesus lived, in order to die he had to be born. And um, so uh, we, we take that as, as, as being uh, granted if you like, that obviously he, he was conceived and that his life and um, he, we believe that he died and we, he rose again. And uh, that, is, that is really the central part of the Christian message. And uh, that we have to believe in him as our, as our saviour. Uh, we ought to have our, our, our sins forgiven. Now, just one more thing that I, I would say um, is that um, we have to believe that, that Jesus was God. And the reason we have to believe that is because if we don't believe that Jesus is God, then we have no sacrifice for our sins. Uh, if I can just go and explain that. Um, in the Old Testament, uh, in the book of Leviticus, the, 
animal sacrifices that were made in the temple um, re referred to um, a, an animal being bought with a, uh, that did have no blemish and that, that had, had no spot. It had to be a perfect uh, animal. Is this physical blemish uh, rather uh, uh, than moral blemish? Yeah, physical blemish. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So the, the Lord Jesus, the, the Bible says in the New Testament, uh, was um, spoken of by John, John the Baptist, as being the Lamb of God who, who takes away the sin of the world. So, mm -hmm. so Christ was a, a type of the Lamb, if you like, and he, he was able to take the sin of the world because he was the perfect sacrifice. He Obviously, was the one. Obviously, like you believe Jesus had no sin. Like yes, yes. He was without sin, Je any moral. Yes, Jesus. But, but Je your view is that he was physically bruised and scourged. Uh, and physically suffered, yes. Phys physically, physically suffered. Wouldn't that contradict like what the Old Testament says about the lamb having no blemish? Um, as being no, like a yeah, lamb or the, the, like spiritually, one. if you apply it to Christ, he okay. he, 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 he was uh, without fault, faultless, without the, the, the lamb. If you like, in the Old Testament, was a type uh, of, of of Christ, and, and there were many types, so, and, and the they, were, they were pointing to towards be... uh, what, uh, what was to come, I which see. is Christ as the sacrifice. Do, uh, does the lamb have to also be spiritually blemished? Like without um, sin, yes. Or is it just uh, we, we, don't, we don't look upon animals as, as having uh, a spirit okay. or, or, or soul. Okay, we, we look upon people as having soul. spirit and soul. And uh, Christian uh, Christian uh, belief is, is that, that only, only humans can um, have that, that dimension to them. That the animal kingdom that doesn't have that. So again, I emphasise that the uh, it, it was a type. And there were there were many types, and there were many fulfilments uh, sure. from the Old Testament to the, to the New Testament. So, the Christ uh, was that was that fulfilment. So, we had to have our trust in Not Him. Not in the physical sense, like He fulfills it, but like in the spiritual sense. In the spiritual sense, sense exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, even though the Bible speaks about in the physical sense, like when you bring a lamb with no physical defect and not a lamb with no spiritual defect. Yes, yes, yes. But you, uh, you know, what do you make of Paul's sacrifice in the book of Acts? Which one? Um, it, it, Acts mentions that Paul, during his final visit to Jerusalem, yes. and he goes to see the apostles. Yes. Um, under the instructions, um, they make him before my sacrifice at the temple, so as to prove that Paul, in fact, was living under the Mosaic law and that right. there was no truth in the rumours about him preaching Jews, living among Gentiles, not to circumcise their children or to forsake Moses. Are you familiar with that? I'd, I'd have to look into that question more thoroughly um, before I give a definite answer. Would you like the reference? Um, um, if, yes, I, I... Just in case. Okay. Um, um, Book of Acts in Book chapter Acts. 21, verse okay. 26. Okay. Um, it speaks about Paul performing a sacrifice at the temple. Yeah, well, or, an animal sacrifice? Yes. Okay. Um, and this animal sacrifice is in reference in Numbers. Um, okay. In Numbers chapter 6, verses okay. 10 and 11. Okay. Um, it, it's in reference to the Nazareth vow. The Nazareth certain, vow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For certain Christians underwent or undertook a Nazareth vow. And right. even Paul did in order to prove his orthodoxy to Judaism right. because uh, people had heard about Paul, that Paul in fact had forsaken the law of Moses, in fact, right. was teaching other Jews to do the same thing. Right. And so under the instructions of the uh, apostles of Jesus, okay. uh, Paul is ready to undertake this ritual yeah. uh, so as to disprove these rumours about him. Right. Well, the, the, the Mosaic law was, was, was not intended to be um, a, a, a permanent um, permanent law. The Mosaic law w w was uh, uh, will be pointing to Christ. So. Um, if, if, if you like, um, say we have a, a building that's being constructed, and uh, while the building's being constructed, there is a scaffolding around it. Okay. Once the building's finished, you, you don't need the, sac the scaffolding anymore. It's taken away. So the, the, the law was, was was being built in, 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 into something, uh, and um, when that when that was uh, the fulfilled, Christ who came to um, fulfill the law. What, what, once he came at the, and the structure was already in place, then the, 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 whole, the, whole, the thing was fully revealed, as in, as, in, as you might have when a building is ready, when it's finished. 
um, it, there's no need for it to be um, covered in that way. It's, it's, uh, it's unveiled. So, so Christ was the fulfillment of, 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 of the law, and um, there was um, no, no necessity to go back to uh, keeping that side of it because um, he, he, he said, for example, he said that the, the, the love is the fulfillment of the law. If we, if we love sure. a, a neighbor as ourselves, to love God to yes, love your neighbor. Yes. So then, guess, then that is the fulfillment of the law. I, I guess that the, the Christians are after Jesus continued to make sacrifices at the temple because they continued to go to the temple and preach yes. Yes. and attended the afternoon prayer. Yes. Um, they, at, at, I think three o'clock is yes. said in the book of Acts. Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, chapter yes. three. They, 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 um, they, were, they were continued, but um, for, for those that um, came to Christ, then um, it, 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 it wasn't necessary for, for them to continue um, with the animal sacrifices. So it's quite correct to say they did continue, but then um, in, in AD, you know the uh, book of Acts covers three decades or thirty decades yes. of the Acts of the Apostles yes, um, yes. after Jesus. Yes. Uh, so in those three decades of period, uh, it seems the disciples uh, continued to practice the law and also taught others to do the same thing, including uh, Gentile converts because. Uh, they tell Paul uh, that uh, Gentiles, uh, as well as everyone else, should um, not eat food that has been sacrificed to an idol or have been ritually made impure, um, as well as not to eat dead meat or dead animal or yes. blood, yes. Um, and as well as um, not to uh, commit sexu sexual right. promiscuity. Okay, um, the, those, those, those laws were, were, yeah. were, were, were there certainly. Um, but they cannot make us. They cannot make us right with God because the uh, they, they were um, ceremonial. Um, and um, well, I mean, sexual promiscuity, uh, for example, yeah, Christians yeah. still continue to obey that. Well, well um, sure, yes. And just as it's wrong to sleep around, yes. um, it's also wrong to eat certain foods, uh, it, it, such as uh, blood or, or dead dead well, meat or yeah, dead animals. People, people have. Um, freedom of choice, but as, as regards to uh, righteousness before God, g g God uh, leads it to uh, people, to, uh, their, their own conscience. And, uh, you know, I want to, because it's the season of Christmas, I want to ask you, are you familiar with the, the story of the birth of Jesus in the Quran? Um, um, like, uh, what, what have you, you, you do know that Muslims also believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. Okay, okay, um, I, I've, I've heard people, um, Say things about the virgin birth, but I'm interested in what you're saying. Yes, carry on. Uh, uh, what, the, what the Quran says is basically uh, the angel appears to Mary and gives her the good news uh, that she, she will be the mother of a son whose name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary. Okay. And it goes on to say that Jesus will be held honored uh, in this life as well as in the hereafter, uh -huh. and he will be in the company of those that are close or near to God. And when Mary says, How can this be when I do not know a man? Similar to the Gospel of Luke, yeah, um, yeah. Um, she, uh, the angel says to her that it's easy for God, uh, for God to create. He only he creates what He wills, and He only says to it, "Be," and it becomes. Um, and so, uh, from Muslim perspective, Jesus is created by the Word of God, um, just like the heavens and the earth were created by the Word of God. Uh, yeah. It's easy for God to create Jesus without the Father. Okay, but well, um, we, we believe that Jesus was eternally pre-existent and uh, yeah. right, right, not, not, not created. He was the Word, from, uh, uh, spoken about in um, John 1. John 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and, and the Word was God. Um, and, and, so, uh, co co uh, I mean, co Colossians speaks of Jesus as being the firstborn of all of God's creation. So even when it says he's the firstborn of God's creation, okay. um, the word God in that sentence yeah. is not used for Jesus, but used for someone other than Jesus. Okay. Um, well, we'd have to look at the whole of Colossians, and we'd have to look enough. at the context, yeah. and we'd have to look at the actual Greek. Uh, I, I, I like talking to the Greek meaning of the words before oh. I actually com comment on that. Of course. Uh, before, I, before I try and express uh, uh, um, what well, I think the Bible is saying before we can have a um, uh, more lengthy discussion about that. Um, you know, it's interesting, one of the most common titles of Jesus given in the Quran is that he's referred to as the son of Mary or Ibn okay. Maryam, which means son of Mary. 
and there's no Joseph mentioned in the Quran or uh, even at the birth of Jesus um, Mary appears to be alone and by herself and she's comforted by the angel um, but there's no mention of Joseph and Jesus in the first as the son of Mary and in, in that culture uh, when the father wasn't known um, the person would be referred to by their mother's name rather than the father since the father wasn't known um, and in the gospel of Mark uh, there's no mention of Joseph the comforter um, and also Jesus is referred to as the son of Mary in Mark's gospel and Mark is said to be the, the earliest of the four gospels Okay. Uh, or the um, first of the four Gospels to be written. Yeah. Um, See, we go, we take the book of John as a whole, John's Gospel. Okay. Sure. Um, jo John's Gospel also doesn't mention Joseph, to my knowledge. No, no, it doesn't. No, it's quite right. I mean, we, we like to look at the whole, the whole Gospel rather than look at individual verses. Okay. And, uh, and um, we like to look into the context. So, uh, again, that, 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 again, there's a question that um, we we, that I would like to um, discuss further. Yeah, um, yeah. Ha having that as the um, uh, foundation, um, and uh, we've got, well, of course, uh, the New uh, Testament wasn't written by just one person who sat down and wrote the whole thing all at once. Uh, but the, the New Testament was originally written by individual authors and, and read by different communities. Uh, so those that read Mark's Gospel, for example, would not have heard or known of jo Joseph. Uh, they would have just been aware that Jesus, that Mary was the mother of Jesus, that Jesus was referred to by his mother's name. Uh, I mean, there, there is, a, like a, uh, in the Gospel of Luke, so, there is a, a different genealogy to, 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 to Matthew. Okay, yeah. so Jesus is called the son of uh, Joseph is called the son of Heli, and uh, um, the reason for that is because that he looked at through um, the, um, the, 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 the the mother's line. Okay. Rather, rather than in Matthew's gospel, which is the, Matthew looks at it through the, uh, um, the, 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 the 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 male line. Okay, so the difference is in what Jesus is called but, the but son of Matthew says Joseph was the son of Heli. He, no, he no, Luke says. Oh, Luke says Luke Joseph was Heli. Yeah, yeah. But Matthew says. Joseph was the son of Jacob. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. Oh, so, so, so taken through the, take the male line. Okay. And, um, if you have like different gene ideas, sometimes you have cousins. And, uh, different branches, so there, there, there is a reason for, for the uh, different genealogies. That but but both seem to say that uh, uh, Joseph was the son of either Jacob or the son of Eli. Or was it Jacob Eli in your view? Oh, hey, how are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're welcome to. Yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah. um, yeah. it's taken through the, 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 the mother's line in Luke rather than the, the, the historical. Uh, Matthew takes it through the, 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 male, the male line. Well, uh, Luke, when he says uh, Joseph, the son of Heli, uh, as uh, was yeah. the supposed father of Jesus. Right, okay. So it does seem okay. like it appears that it is the genealogy of Joseph and Luke. Um, just like in Matthew's Gospel, does appear to be the genealogy of Joseph as well. Yeah, see, uh, that's what, uh, Mary was married to Joseph. Yeah. And uh, Heli fits into the picture there as being the father of Mary, I think. Okay. So, so there is a, like, um, in a genealogy, as I say, you, you have cousins and um, something like family line does spread out so there, there are some differences in, 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 in genealogy. Is, is your view also um, um, that Jesus was originally from Nazareth or is Nazareth a place in which the family later on discover and they're like... Okay, um, yes Jesus came, the, the prophecies in the Old Testament that, um, about um, Galilee which is where, uh, where, where uh, Nazareth is. Okay. Um, and um, although um, Nazareth is not mentioned in the Old Testament, um, Ma Matthew mentions about the, 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 the prophets um, writing that he would be called a, called a, a, a Nazarene. I see. Okay. Um, the actual um, Hebrew word for um, Nazareth um, can, can also mean uh, a, a root or a branch. And um, so, um, what, what we say or what, what we believed is that Matthew, the apostle or the writer of the book of Matthew, uh, was actually using a play on words. 
um, because the, the, the word Nazi, Nazi does appear in the Old Testament, okay. um, in uh, the book of Jeremiah, uh, where it's talked about a, wa a watchman, chapter 30, mm -hmm. and um, a watchman shall cry out on the walls of, uh, 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 in, uh, the, um, in Samaria. Um, but um, the, uh, um, let us go up to let us rise and go up to Zion, the city of God. So we believe it's an epitaph for the Messiah. So that, that's what we believe is happening there, because um, people ask that question very often. Well, ha why did Matthew um, talk about Jesus uh, as being a Nazarene, yeah. uh, and the prophets haven't mentioned it when there's no, when there's, when Nazareth isn't even mentioned in the Old Testament? Yeah, it's yeah. quite right. Nazareth isn't mentioned in the Old Testament. But um, what, what, what we're saying is that uh, we, we, we feel that uh, very likely Matthew was actually um, using a play on words. I think when he was using the word. Uh, it's good to know. No, so, yeah. But I want to ask because yeah. Luke mentions um, that the family was originally from Nazareth, but because okay. of the tax census, um, every, uh, because, okay. uh, everyone has to go back to their hometown or the place of origin in order to register, uh, you know, where they were from. Yeah. Uh, so because Joseph was originally from Bethlehem, yeah. um, the family went down to Bethlehem. In order to get registered uh, okay. for the purpose of tax.